everybody, welcome back, it's Warp Jester, and today we're actually going to be doing a uh, State of the Server update. I've uh, been meaning we're to get around to this for a while. This is uh, kind of information uh, both for my viewers as well as uh, primarily for the uh, players on the server. I've uh, been meaning to get around to formally let everybody know what's happening. Now, for those of you that have been following along on my uh, uh, Let's Play I've been talking about uh, us looking into upgrading the server to uh, like a 1.6 or something, something alike. And uh, me and Turgo have been hammering at that for a while. It does take a lot of work to do. And sadly, it turns out that it's just not going to be an easy solution here. Um, to put it simply, a lot of the mods, because so much has changed between 1.5 and 1.6... They don't want to play nice when you try to port a world over. So trying to transfer the world isn't going to really be a possibility. So what we figured out at that point was we we're going to do one of two things. Either A, we we're going to port to 1.6 and then painstakingly copy and paste all of the important structures and whatnot back into the world. This would literally be a new world gen because a lot of the new biomes change the... Um, algorithm for how worlds generate. So, like, the area we're staying in right now wouldn't be the same biome. Matter of fact, I think it's a completely different forest biome. Um, so, we literally have to regen the entire world and then copy paste all the major buildings in and then try to kind of rebuild everything in between. That means basically all the roads, the subway, the power lines, all that goes bye bye, and we have to go rebuild it again. Um, not the most ideal thing, but uh, you know, certainly is an option. So we present an option to the rest of the founders and, and other uh, people here and got some input. Um, option two is to stick with what we got for now and then uh, wait until at least November. Uh, this will fulfill our uh, goal of having at least one year under the server. Now, personally, I would like to have a lot, you know, a lot more. Uh, I like to have servers around for years because you get a lot of really cool builds and you want to keep building them up. Um, but sadly, that's not the case uh, because the idea is basically we're going to stick around until at least November. And by then, I'm anticipating 1.7 mods to be mature enough to take on. Uh, we actually have a 1.7 test world that Turgo's been playing with and I've been testing around and uh, it's very stable, very cool uh, but there's a couple of key mods missing right now, specifically uh, forestry as well as railcraft. Uh, I, there's just no two ways about it. I'm not going without those. So, long story short, uh, option A, we jump now, get all the mods we have and even some more and copy and paste stuff back into a new map and try to, you know, fill in the blanks. Option B, stick with what we got, and uh, when it comes to 1.7, uh, just start fresh there. The reason why I'd be starting fresh is because of 1.7, they changed from item IDs to item names. And unfortunately, at least for right now, there's no easy way to translate that. So you're looking at a world reset at that point. Not keen on world resets, and if something does come up, between then and now, they'll allow us to preserve or transfer item IDs into item names. I will definitely look into it. But for now, the idea basically is uh, that you'd have to reset the world. So, option A, option B, we've talked, we've discussed, and the decision is option B. That's right. We're actually going to stick with what we got here. And then we're going to go ahead and look into updating or upgrading to 1.7 when it's ready. And basically do a world reset. Uh, again, unfortunately, that does mean most likely we're going to have to reset the world together. Um, again, if we can, we'll preserve it, but it pretty much is kind of a lost cause in that regard. It's an, an unusual circumstance just because Minecraft did do that big change over doing item names and not IDs. And it's actually going to be very beneficial. Uh, one of the biggest time-consuming or time sinks to getting a mod pack set up is oh, item item ID conflicts. So just so you understand, uh, for those of you who are not really familiar with it, when it comes to items in Minecraft, I'll give you an idea here, you can see the little numbers on the end here. So Pillar of Quartz, Box C, 155, colon 2. These are item IDs. Everything in Minecraft, whether it's an item you can hold or an item you can place, has an item ID. Um... And a lot of mods, because they're not necessarily thinking of each other, they try to do their best to kind of 
fill in areas that other people aren't using, but there's going to be times when these IM IDs tend to cross. And when that happens, server doesn't like it, server doesn't load, makes things a pain in the butt, and we have to go through and change every single one until we can get it running right. So the fact that they're changing over to item names means there's a much, much less, uh, much less likely chance that we're going to have these conflicts. So long story short, uh, it's going to make life easier in the long run. So everybody on the server, I'm sorry we're not going to have a longer term than a year, but I, as I promised, we are going to keep it at least till November. The only exception to that is if everybody decides, yeah, we're willing to let it go, great, but I want to kind of keep it around for a while because there's still things I want to do. Uh, for all you guys at home watching, uh, fear not. Uh, I'll be honest with you. For all the mods we have in this uh, mod pack, I haven't even scraped the surface <laughs> of what this mod pack has. Uh, VSD, who I, I'm still going to corner and, and, and get on... Uh, on my show here to, so she, to show off some of the stuff she's done. She's tapped a hell of a lot more than I have. She's figured out a lot about this mod pack that me and Turgo had no idea you could even do. Uh, for example, you can see right here a wonderful uh, infused stone <laughs> that she's selling. By all rights of the account, you can't silk touch that stuff. It doesn't happen. But she has managed to find a way through Thomcraft and through... Uh, um, Oh, God, the mutant creatures. She's figured out how to be able to capture some blocks, like these uh, infused stones, as well as the mushrooms behind me, that you can't normally grab. So there's a lot to be had there. Another thing I want to get into is MFS 3.0. This is the new modular force field system. I haven't even touched that yet. And from what I've been reading up on and watching, not only is that an awesome force field, <laughs> obviously, uh, but you can also do a lot of other things with it. You can actually copy and rebuild buildings. Basically, what Buildcraft is always meant to do with the blueprints, MFSS, MFFS, eh, the Force Field mod <laughs> can actually do that. It can also dig. So there's a lot of things you can do with that, that mod alone. There's other ones I haven't had a chance to play with on my uh, show yet. So there's a lot more we can do, and of course, as you've seen <laughs> from my to-do list, uh, there is a lot of stuff I want to get done here. So, uh, fear not, <laughs> still plenty of content to come, and uh, we will definitely, uh, definitely be doing a lot more on here for a while. So, server's still alive, server's still happy. Uh, we did have a little problem with uh, the IC2 crops. And as you see, Vestis went ahead and just killed them for now just because they have a known bug. Nothing we can do about it, sadly. This is one of the reasons why we're looking into upgrading is because most or all of the modders have pretty much sunset uh, 1.5 now. So all the known issues that we have are just not going to get fixed. So, case ra sera, fact of life. <laughs> but we're just going to go ahead and uh, move on and deal with it. So, anyhow... Uh, I really have my chest update in here. You can see all the stuff that I have <laughs> on my to-do list. Uh, obviously, this is not going to get done before November. Uh, time has been very scant for me when it comes to uh, being on the server and playing. <laughs> that said, we're going to do our best to try to get some things pounded out. You know, I, I, of course, do, do stupid, foolish things like start other projects like this thing right here. It's going to be the Green Center. If anything more, I look at it from the aspect of this will at least will give me a chance to learn and play the design, and that's what I definitely want to do more of. I'm always very technical and like to do technical stuff, like the power plant and the, the uh, data center. And I, I want to get to a little more of the pretty, too, and I want to learn to do a little more design work and be a little more proficient at that. Um, so that's definitely something to look into. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with this space here. So, anyways, uh, as I said, server's still up and alive, still doing well. Uh, so please, uh, fear not, <laughs> the server will be around for quite a while yet. Um, Yankee is kind of back in action now. His uh, real life is finally settled down a bit, and he's going to start being able to get back on. So hopefully I'll get a chance to hook up with him, and I want to start getting some of the rail lines fleshed out and working. Um, again, just to get a feel for how things work, and who knows, we'll maybe reproduce it in the future. Who knows? <laughs> so that's, uh, that's the, the, the critical things here. Um, as always, uh, uh, if you have any questions or curiosities, uh, please feel free to, uh, leave a comment down below. Um, and of course, likewise, as I always say, likes certainly do help, so please feel free to tap that little like button there. And, uh, of course, uh, as always, if you enjoy the, uh, 
uh, shows I put out, uh, please feel free to uh, subscribe and uh, pick up the uh, shows as I'm able to. I usually do try to do a show once a week, as uh, some of you may know I'm not doing so well on that right now. I apologize, but I am going to try to get back in action here. And now my life is probably simplified a little bit. Um, of course, beyond that, I cannot... Uh, forget to say please stop by ballrocketgaming.com and say hi we've got forums we've got groups we've got all kinds of cool stuff it's a very social networky type environment now and we certainly do welcome people to join uh so please feel free to sign up uh, and of course if you're gonna sign up leave a post on your wall saying hi how you doing i'm here uh, you know, introduce yourself, because if you sign up and say nothing, I have to assume you're a bot or something. <laughs> I'm just going to probably delete you. So, but do feel free to sign up. That's a great way to talk with me and to talk with, you know, Ruark and Tox and, and all the other uh, BRGers. Um, it's a great avenue to communicate through. Uh, also, just so you know, we now have a new donation system set up. It actually uses uh, 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 Google Wallet. So if you're not a big fan of PayPal, which many of us are not, uh, you can also go, you know, use Google Wallet to pay uh, for donation if you like. And that's ballrocketgaming.com slash donate. So please feel free to stop by. If you want to give us a dollar or a million dollars, I won't argue. <laughs> um, it's certainly is appreciated. This is a, a, a friendly community server and of course we pay for this out of our pocket so we can enjoy and play and it also gives us opportunity to uh, put out content like this for you so uh, you're certainly welcome to do that there and of course as I've said many times before we're always looking for new people to join our server uh, we all happen to be close to friends and a lot of us are YouTubers I'm trying to get more YouTubers collected um, just because I love uh, uh, collaborative work and, and the content that comes from that um, but you don't have to be a YouTuber we're just looking for good people so if you're interested and would like to play on our modded server please feel free to stop by ballrocketgaming.com and uh, uh, go ahead and hit the apply button uh, the information is in the forums. You can find the uh, application there. Um, basically, what it boils down to is don't just uh, go in there and say, Hi, I want to be on. Tell us a little about yourself. Tell us who you are. We'll get a chance to hook up with you and, and talk and team speak and know you a little bit. And if you feel like you're a good fit and you feel like we're a good fit, then we can talk and see about uh, getting you on here and uh, hanging out. Uh, anyways, that's it for now. That's the news. And I will try to get some more videos put up soon. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one. Bye!